In the year of 200X, a super fighting robot named Mega Man was created. Dr. Light created Mega Man to stop the evil desires of Dr. Wily. However, after his defeat, Dr. Wily created eight of his own robots to counter Mega Man. Mega Man 2 Randomizer, let's go! I've never played this before, I've never seen it before, I have no idea what's going to happen, so let's just start from the top because... It's randomized. Bubble Man, that's not Bubble Man. Bubble Man is now Crash Man. Already we're off to a fantastic start. It could have been worse though. Oh, what? This is... That's not what's supposed to be a thing. Okay, this is already a serious problem. So... In case I... So, here we go... Bleh, here we go. I'm kind of... Uh, thrown off here trying to think of what to say. So, here we go. Mega Man 2 randomizer. Someone... Some people might be wondering why that... That's not what things are supposed to look. Metar, I've never seen a blue Metar before. This is, that's not a normal thing. Sir? Sir, is there something wrong? If I do that, ow. Sir, sir, you have two faces, sir. Is that the cat dog of robots? Zap, dead. So, in case anyone's... Ow. <laughs> I was so distracted by that that I couldn't even pay attention to the threat of crabs manifesting out of thin air. Also, the background's not supposed to be blue. Um, that- that's not even- that's not even fair. <laughs> How am I supposed to not... Okay, let's... Let's assess this situation for a second. How? <laughs> How am I supposed to do this? Um... I just gotta... Even if I, if I get hit, I... Well, I just died there, but I felt like when I got hit, I couldn't do anything. I just fell off the ladder. But if I just stay on the ladder to wait for that guy to get out of the way, he's just going to shoot me, and I won't have anywhere to dodge. That didn't work. I need to conserve health, but these guys are not making that easy. Sorry if there's a lot of clicking, the situation isn't... There's a lot of things about this right now that aren't the best. Oh dear, run! I don't know if I can do this stage yet. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna need some kind of special weapon to get past the bunny robot. So here we go, Mega Man 2 at long last. It's been a while since the first game, but now we're at the second one. Let's see if I can get past this nonsense. Yeah, I just fall. I don't think I don't think it's possible to do this. I didn't want to have to switch stages without just beating the stage I'm on, but I don't know if I can I have a strategy, but I don't have enough health. Let's see if I can get some health. Let's see if we can farm these crabs for health. Screw it, this is enough to survive a hit. I have a strategy. I just gotta... It doesn't work. I wanted to try to pause to do a thing. See if that would get past the whatever. I don't think I can do this. I don't think it's possible unless there's some, like, speedrun trick or something that can allow me to get past these guys. I just don't think it's 
impossible to get past that. Now I get a big energy pellet. If I can find a way to... Grab the ladder fast enough and then... Go! Invincibility frames! No, it's not fast enough! And it doesn't let me pause there. That's what I wanted to do. I wanted to try and pause there. So I could, like, bypass whatever. I don't think this is possible. Well, that's disappointing. I really just... I didn't want to have to swap stages just because of lacking weapons or difficulty or whatever. But I honestly think that's impossible unless there's some sort of trick that I don't know about. So I'm gonna have to get a special weapon. Airman's... This special weapon won't help. But whatever. Let's go, Airman! This is not the right music. Or colors. Or that thing's not supposed to be there. Zappy zap. So, um... Oh dear, that's not supposed to be there. You're not supposed to be yet there yet. Okay, so, um... Uh, at least this probably isn't randomized, because that would be a, a problem. They're dying quicker, that's convenient. I feel like I should be talking about something a little bit more interesting, but frankly, I'm just trying to take in all this nonsense that's wrong. Everything is wrong, and not in uh, ways that are beneficial to my health. Hello. Hello, thing. I can see you're not connected to anything. That's to be expected. You are floating in the sky. This... Oh, one up. This is not a good position for these. Go! Just power through. Bye. So, um, Mega Man 2. Took me a while to get to this. The reason I wanted to do a randomizer, though, is because, as I said when playing the first game, this is actually against popular opinion. This is actually my least favorite. Um, did it just despawn? Excellent. Strategy! I didn't even see that thing there. Um... What? That's just... Ah! Kerpow! Eat that, eggs! This thing's not supposed to be able to be shootable. Or killable. Alright, so now that I know I can kill those things... Probably has something to do with them replacing standard enemies instead of just being obstacles. Alright, we're at the end! of this nonsense. I feel like so far, it's not very interesting. Well, this... Hello, Red Airman. I hope I can beat you like this. That's not a standard... Oh, there's no way I'm gonna be able to... beat Airman ta with him taking that little damage, I don't think. I've never been the best at fighting Airman anyway. But let's try this. We're just gonna power through, just gonna push forward, just gonna fight this guy to the best of my limited ability. That wasn't fair. Uh, I just... Perfect! Except for that part. He's not... We got this. <laughs> this is not how everybody's supposed to be. He's supposed to take a lot more damage, first of all, from the buster. Normally, if you have max health, you can just power through him, pretty much. Not even have to worry about. I don't even know how to dodge that pattern. I need to jump over him.
Like that. Except then not hit the tornado. At least we got that one up, so we got another shot at this before having to do the stage over again. At least the stage wasn't particularly complicated. Bring it on, punk. Now I understand why they're... Oh, that... What? <laughs> How... How is that fair? Everything about this is just not how anything is supposed to be. I got his health down half. If I could get an energy tank, I could beat him, but that wouldn't be very fair. But we're continuing because this seems doable. It just might take a while. Doesn't help that it's been a while since I last played this, so... Uh... I'm kind of rusty and things. Not to mention there are definitely parts where I'm used to having certain special weapons. Speaking of the special weapons, I had I keep trying to mention how when doing the when playing through the first game, that was stupid of me. I don't even know why I attempted that. I just got impatient. I brought up in the first game how this is actually against popular opinion my least favorite of the NES games. And the reason for that seems to be the reason everybody likes the game, which is Metal Blade. But personally, I have a huge problem with Metal Blade because of how overpowering it is. And yeah, it's kind of cool having such an overpowering weapon. But the problem is, one of the best things about Mega Man is the special weapons and getting all these weapons with unique attributes that can be used to solve various problems that the stages and the bosses present to you. If there's enemies coming from above, you can have a weapon that shoots up you. Or if there's lots of enemies coming from different directions or they're difficult to hit, you can have a homing weapon. Or if you need a shield, you have a shield. You have all these different types of weapons for different situations. And coming up with creative ways to use those weapons is one of the most fun aspects of the franchise. The problem with this game, though, is because Metal Blade solves all your problems better than any of the other weapons because it's so versatile so powerful and has so much ammunition there's just I, there's no point in any of the other weapons and it just makes the entire experience fall apart when you have a uh, solution to everything in the form of one weapon and that to me ruins a lot of the experience not to say that it's a bad game because of it is certainly not as bad as that jump. I'm gonna be out of lives before I even reach Airman. Then I'm not gonna- oops. And then I'm not gonna have the energy- and then when I do reach him, I'm not gonna have the energy to fight him fresh. But yeah, it's just the appeal of the franchise as a whole is, well, that. The versatility of your weapons, coming up with creative ways to use what the- what's available to you. And that doesn't exist in this game because of Metal Blade. Heck, Metal Blade even pulverizes most of the bosses, so it's just, like, what's the point in anything? Half the game is just, I feel like, made uh, null and void because of Metal Blade. So while everybody seems to like Metal Blade because of how overpowering it is, which I can understand, I just feel like that detracts from a lot of the entertainment of the title because of the intentions of the weapons in general or as a whole whatever I'm trying to survive craziness here so semantics can be saved for another time i really don't think i have any chance without going in with max out that i don't have any spare lives this time especially when he throws that pattern at me i don't know how to dodge that oh man yeah i can do this continue try again this time you're through, Airman. I know all your tricks. I have seen your patterns and your moves and your cheap tornado placements. And I know now how to counter most of what you do. Although I've always felt like of all the bosses, perhaps in the entire series, at least as far as Robot Masters go, I've always felt like Airman is the most... RNG heavy as far as being able to fight him effectively because some of his uh, tornado patterns are just so much more difficult to uh, avoid than the rest. 
And of course, I'm playing to the stage almost flawlessly until I start talking and then suddenly I die. Ow. I just felt like that was something that I needed to point out. Fortunately, in the standard game anyway, he doesn't have very much health. He, ta and he takes a lot of damage even just from the standard... Uh, Mega Buster, so I've never really found him to be particularly difficult. All you really have to do is just enter the room with max health and then just run at him shooting and uh, you'll w and I find that you'll win. At least from my experiences, that's all it really uh, takes to beat Airman. Just have max health and then charge him like a lunatic. And just overpower him. That one up is uh, good though, since I lost a life to stupidity a moment ago. Oh, good sir. Would you kindly die this time? I would appreciate it. Is he red because of the. because he just covered himself in the blood of his enemies? Is he like the. Red Baron of this game? That's not gonna make any sense to people who hear Red Baron and think of the actual Red Baron instead of Shining Force bosses. Oh, man. To put that into context for people who don't know, Red Baron is a boss in Shining Force 2 uh, who, uh, is ar who uh, covers his armor in the blood of those he has killed. Yeah, see, that's usually all you have to do to beat this guy, except he takes way more damage standardly, so... Uh, he dies super quickly by you just getting in his face. Did it! First boss down. We shall win. We are one step closer. Get equipped with Slash Burner? Message from Dr. Light. Oh. Item one completed. Get your weapons ready. That's good, we got an item. I actually always forget which item is which as far as the numbers go because they're just numbered. It's not like later with Rush where each thing has a distinct name. Um, I don't know if the weapon I got would be useful for getting past the rabbits, so... Quick Man is Heat Man. Ah, uh, well, I thought we were at Heat Man stage, not Acid Man stage. What did I get? M. Okay. Yay. 